Welcome to day 10 of renovating this old property. Let me show you the progress so far. All right, so the first thing that I wanna show you is the tree that we have cut. As you can see, we cut off the major branches. We will cut it to the floor and we're gonna remove that pallet. As you can see, we got some of the branches in the dumpster. And now let's go inside so I can show you the progress. All right. Tomorrow, all this right here will be gutted. These windows will be thrown away. Let's go inside. Go into this bedroom right here. As you can see, we got some, uh, I think that these are six by six by eight. We're gonna use that to support the windows over there. We got even more wood. First sand has been complete. Obviously it is still not dry, so there's still a lot more work to do. Let's go over here. Plumbing update. As you can see, everything is fitting into place slowly but surely. All the water lines, the sewage lines, the sink, everything is falling in line. Hopefully in the next day or two, all the plumbing will be done. Then we can start positioning it where we need it. Let's go over here. Check it out. All right, so the leveling is almost complete. We just need one more support beam to attach it next to this one, and it will be leveled. But this is the result. As you can see, this entire section of the house fell because we raised it an uh, inch and a half in order to level the floor. Now all the floors are completely leveled but this entire section right here will need to be redone. Let me quickly zoom in. All right, check it out. This is very, very old. Now, all of this will probably have to be removed. I'm not 100% sure, I never worked with this before, but as you can see, the drywall that they used is almost like concrete. So it literally looks like they pasted it over this wood. So. I will be buying new drywall to fix this entire area. I'm not exactly sure if I will have to do this wall too or just maybe cut it right here, patch it somehow, but there's definitely more work created simply because we had to level the house, which is very, very important. All right, so that is pretty much all the progress so far, but our expenses, as you can see right here too, from the leveling, cracks on this end and on that end. All of that will be patched up. And as you can see right here, check it out. Now the trim is like half an inch off because over time it settled, but now it got raised to the appropriate height where it was supposed to be in the first place. So that will have to be fixed as well. Also the deposit for the HVAC system has been made and hopefully the guy starts working on it tomorrow and gets it done in the next three or four days. But once the HVAC system is in, the next step will be to replace the doors and the windows. I did get an estimate on windows and let me show you. It was very, very high. Initially it was over 15,000. Then the guy lowered that to 11,000, but it is still way out of my budget. My budget for the windows is around $4,000. Obviously, I looked at Lowe's, Home Depot, and other places that sell windows, and I can purchase the windows, all 10 of them, for around 2,300 bucks. That is including taxes and everything. So, I will need to find someone to install those windows instead of going with the big professional companies that charge a ton of money for pretty much the exact same windows. And now let's go over the budget so far. But before we do, if you are a real estate investor or you have rental properties, or if you are a homeowner looking to lower your mortgage payment, I highly suggest you check out Steadily Insurance. I use Steadily Insurance to insure my own house and all of my rental properties. They are able to provide me the best coverage for the best price. So I highly recommend you check them out. And now let's get to the numbers. As you can see, the total expenses so far are 13,235 and nine cents. And on day eight, we ended up buying some drywall 
for $53.45. Also, the dumpster, they charged us an extra $152 simply because the dumpster was overweight. We threw in a bunch of bricks, multiple roofs, so we got that charge on day eight as well. On day nine, we made a $5,000 deposit for the HVAC system. Hopefully tomorrow or the next day, the process will start to install heat and AC in the house. We also ended up buying two more floor jacks to level the house even more. We spent $103.88 and then the new dumpster as well, which cost us $331.80. This dumpster is slightly smaller than the previous ones simply because we do not have as much trash as we did when we first started this project. As you can see, the total expenses are definitely piling up. And in the next couple of days, we are going to spend even more money. I got a feeling we are going to go well over the $30,000 budget that we have initially planned for this project. The little things like the drywall cracking and falling will cost us extra money. The small things quickly add up and will probably cause us to go over budget. But we will see how the next couple of weeks turn out and if we are able to stay in the budget. All right, everybody, that concludes this quick update video. I would appreciate it if you press the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications and see you in the next video. Peace out.